Well, hey, everybody. <laughs> what? Nothing. It's just one of those mornings. She's having one of those mornings. No, no. It's just, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Much. We love you, Mama. <laughs> we love no. you, Mama. I know. Give us a squinch. Give us a squinch. Give us a squinch. Mm. Mm. Okay, so today we're going easy, but it's it's good Thankfully. for everybody <laughs> because cheddar biscuits, those red lobster copies. Oh. These are not like that though. They're they're these I think they're are more flavorful. More flavorful, mm -hmm. um, more for the type of soup we're making. So, because there's going to be some yummy deliciousness inside of it. It is true, but they're mm -hmm. they're like those cheddar, uh, cheddar garlic knockoffs but with more goop, yeah. yumminess. Mm -hmm. And tortilla soup, man. Mm -hmm. This is one of the best things ever because it if you're if you're not talking, like we'll be talking. If you're not talking, it, it takes literally five to ten minutes mm -hmm. to go open cans, open done, cans, done, open done, cans, done, done, done. done. Right. And right. so that's gonna be we're gonna we're knocking it up a notch so because it's gonna be a lot of Thrive Life mm -hmm. stuff. Yep. But don't get all Freaky, because some people go, well, I can't have it, or I don't have it. That's fine. You Just can use, use fresh. Use fresh, re uh, fresh ingredients, store-bought right. equivalent is the right. same thing. Right. This is what we have, and this is what uh, we like to use for this, so we thought we'd share. And I need a cough drop, because otherwise I'm going to hack my lungs out. It's been one of those days. It has been one of those days. Ooh, the oven's goes. heated up oven's ready to, go. to 400 degrees. So if you're going to make this with us, which you didn't know the... The whole recipe, See, so it'd be harder to do. There's a gang sign, 400. <laughs> you have a gang sign. We don't do gang signs, dear. 400 degrees. That's our, our big family homestead gang. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the burner on. <laughs> Are we? You want me to show the uh, soup recipe? Sure. On your market set, go. Here we go. Sure. So how are you guys doing today? Oh, I see Heather's here. Oh, Hello, my Heather. Gosh. There's, okay, there's a, there's a few people here, so I can say hi to everybody because there's not a ton. Mm -mm. So hello to Jean Marie, Mary Taylor, Lisa, good morning to Jess, Tina, the Happy Meat Fire Rios. And we have been praying for you yes. all morning yes. and your husband. So hang in there. Um, Super Dave, Heather. Heather! We just made her secret uh, key lime pie the other yes. day. It's a secret. Yes, I don't, I don't know if it's a secret. Maybe she's put it on their... On their uh, it could be. In Have you put it on yours, Heather? Maybe. It's delicious. It is ridiculously good. Mike DeFazio. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mike. Now, I know in the past I, I sing your name, but if I do today, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to hurt myself. So Don't do that. I had a thought, though. With a name mm -hmm. like Mike DeFazio, you should probably consider, you know, making a product of some sort, maybe like a breakfast cereal, like spaghetti flavored. Spaghetti De DeFazio's. No? No. No. No, I don't think so. She says no. Good morning, Lois. Plan with Jen. Fuzz Fork 8. And um, I think we got everybody. Heather's planting her garden. And she's of course there. you are. Yeah, jelly. But they're in Wyoming, so their weather is not nearly as bad as ours, but it's still, it's still pretty nasty out there. Yeah. We got, yeah. what, eight inches of snow last night? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, it was zero fun. I was driving home from church. And, yeah. Um, not, it, was, it was a little sketchy. You couldn't yeah. see the lines. Yeah. No, there was no lines. No, just, and you don't know where the ditches are. No, you have to just, just kind of go in the middle. If there's nobody coming, just drive in the middle. That's okay. how that's how it rolls here. All right, Mom. Get, okay. I'll, I, will, I will try to not say much. You go do your thing, girl. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start by sauteing some garlic for just a little bit. And then I'm going to shut the burner off. And yes, lots of garlic. I'm just going to use up the jar. Yeah, that, that looks like two tablespoons to me. Something like that. Is that, is that two? Yeah, something That's like that. That's what's on the recipe. Uh-huh. Two tablespoons, is that what's on the recipe? Yes. That's funny. And that's not even, well, that's about what I would use. So I'm going to saute this, <clears throat> but then I'm going to shut the burner off because I need to add all of the Thrive ingredients, and I don't want them to burn. So I'm just going to saute this up. We're just going to use... Um, just some basic stuff that if you want to make this at home, you you can do that with store-bought ingredients. Um, we really like to use the Thrive stuff. So, um, And it's equivalent. I know we mentioned it yes. earlier. So yep. if there's one cup of black beans, it's one cup of black beans. Exactly. Yada, yada. 
Yippee Skippy. Yippee Skippy. Hey, Mike DeFazio is making that breakfast cereal. Oh, funny. He says, how do you know I'm not already working? <laughs> That's funny. All right. That smells great, Mom. Yeah. I if you just, just want that, butter. it's just garlic and butter. You just want that flavor of the garlic to come out. All right. I'm going to shut that off. Right. And yeah, the pan is still hot, but I'm going to, you know, we'll make it work. All right. So we need a cup of chicken slices. Or one cup of cooked chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That works. But take a look at this while you're, you're doing that. Mm -hmm. These are not like gross little pieces of powder. When, when you rehydrate this, it, it's a chunk of chicken. Mm -hmm. And what's really nice about it, too, is that not only does it taste right, it tastes great, because all it is is just chicken and a little bit of salt. But when well, you bite it, it feels like real chicken, because mm -hmm. it is real chicken. It's yeah. not like powdered. Right. And look at these bell peppers. I mean, they are just, here, listen, crispy yeah. and just delicious. So half a cup of those. Heather says garlic should be measured with the heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, I'm going to hand these to Thank you. Thank you, baby. Um, that would be helpful. Onion slices. Now, we love the chopped onions with little tiny pieces of onion. They're super delicious, but these are actually big pieces of onion. Look at that. Yeah. Here, I'll just go to this camera Ooh, right here. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. It's About an blurry. inch and a half, maybe. Big pieces, super delicious. And we want a half a cup of those. And you can go liberal with, if you oh, like. Oh, I if know. You like, uh, that's one cool thing about the tortilla soup is that if you like something, add more. Right. You or can if make you don't, it. just leave it out. Right. You can add or take away whatever you prefer. We need a half a cup of corn. And this sweet corn... It's delightful. I'm actually going to go a cup of corn because I love the corn. Um, now, when you have dehydrated corn, it is, it goes, it actually almost reverts back to the the hardness of it was before it was before it teeth. was planted. It was, it, it will chip your teeth. This stuff is super soft and tender and sweet. It's so delicious. So I'm actually add a cup of that. So. Mike DeFazio, are we enjoying Starlink or AT&T? I speed tested both of them before we started, and AT&T wins. <laughs> AT&T wins by, it was, um, uh, Starlink was 80 down and 6 up, and AT&T was 120 down mm -hmm. and 15 up. Yeah. So Because he's nerdy, and I'm yeah. nerdy, and so there you go. Yeah. So I just added a quarter cup of green chili peppers. And now I'm going to add the beans. I'm going to go a whole cup of the instant beans. And that's a big difference. And these have been cooked and then freeze dried, so they are they won't take as long as normally um, normal dry beans. Corn isn't on the list. Uh oh. Oh darn! I forgot to add that. Sorry, that was my fault. Here, I, I typed if I can it do up it right now. How much corn? I'll put it in. One the, cup. I think I can do it live. We'll find okay. out. Find out one one cup of corn. One cup of corn. Look at that. Bam. Bam. Awesome. I was afraid it might shut it off. <laughs> well, it did not. All right. So now we have um, our seasoning. You can add cumin, chili pepper, whatever seasonings you like. We have our... Sasanita. Mexican style seasoning that we use for taco meat. We use it for chicken um, and we use it for this as well. So it has. So are you going to tell them the proprietary secret? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's equal parts of paprika, garlic, cumin, coriander, and then half, half the, the salt. Yeah. So if you add one tablespoon of each of the garlic, paprika, cumin and coriander, you'd add half a tablespoon of salt. Unless you want more salt, fine, but we wanted it less salty. It gets a little much. Yeah. So I'm going to add a tablespoon. Nope. It needs two. Sorry. That stuff is good, too. It needs two, it needs two tablespoons. Is that on there? It's one tablespoon is on there, not two. I'm putting, I'm changing now that I know That's can fine. do it real time. That's fine. I'm awesome. going to go ahead and add some tomato powder, even though we're going to add some whole tomato or some canned tomatoes. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of tomato powder, which I don't know if is on there either. No, I, cause that was a last minute add. <laughs> Sorry guys, see Man. this is how I cook. I cook on the fly. 
We cook with flies. We cook with flies. Okay, I'm going to add our canned tomatoes. I'm what gonna. did you add with the tomato? Powder? Tomato powder? One tablespoon. One, sorry. One. Okay. So I got some stewed tomatoes here. I would have preferred diced, but um, we had we had these. Come on. These are bigger chunks. So I'm going to go ahead and just smash them up a little bit. Well, you can't add any more ingredients, Mom. We've run out of screen. I know. And you see how you smash these? You just smash them up with your hands. You squish. Squish them with your hands. You quish it. Mm-hmm. Like the kids used to say. Quish it. You quish them. Yeah. I crush your heads. I crush your heads. Crush, crush, crush. Yeah, so this is how this is how you play with your food. <laughs> there was just some big chunks in there, and I don't like big chunks of tomato. Well, yeah, if you're gonna eat a, a quarter cup size of a bite of one one bite of tomato, that <laughs> yeah, no kidding, gets uh, problematic. Mm, a little bit. All right, now all that's left to add is our water. Aqua. And I have eight cups of water. Now, if you're using fresh ingredients from the store, you would not add this much water. But we have to rehydrate our veggies. And chicken. And chicken. Chicken. Oh. Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> right to the tippy top. Mm-hmm. Name that TV right. show, Mike. I know that TV show. I'm going to put crush this on the heads. back burner. Crush. crush you. That was a funny bit. <laughs> Wasn't it? Kids in the hall. Oh, that's right. It was a strange show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is mm. the Sassanita recipe in one of your cookbooks? It is in our first cookbook. Um, Which is actually still on sale. And our second cookbook. Yeah, and all of our cookbooks are on sale right now. So. Yeah. Okay. Let me do taste you can that. as well? Yes, Tina, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Often. See if it's got enough oomph. Yeah. It's good? Mm-hmm. All right. Mixed with ricola is absolutely delicious. <laughs> Blech. No. Ricola and cumin, the winning yeah. combo. Here, I'll take this, baby. I got it. It's all right. I got to wash my hands off anyway. Okay. So now you just simmer that? Yep, I'm going to simmer it. I'm going to get a lid for it. And about how long till everything's rehydrated and happy? 15, 20 minutes. It will all come together. It will... I mean, you can see that the corn and all the veggies are floating because they haven't been rehydrated yet. So they will not float. But it makes good for cam camera shot. Yeah, that's true. So by okay. the time you get done with the biscuits, that, that will be, be done. Ready. Mm -hmm. All righty. Now, well, all right. Well, all right then. All right, let's move this. Cynthia Lofton, new to the channel. Enjoy watching all of your videos. That's very cool. Oh, kind. thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Jess, for thanking her for welcoming her. <laughs> yeah. She is quick on the draw as a moderator. She really is. Yep. Another question about ingredients. What was the liquid? It was water. It was just water. If you want to use a beef broth or chicken broth, you, you can do that. Um, I was just using water um, because there's so many other flavors in there um, that I didn't want to. It could get, it could could get, get weird. Mucky. Yeah. I, I, we were actually not debating we were talking about mm -hmm. um whether or not we should use a little little chicken broth flavor like a powder mm -hmm. but the question was does it have enough flavor that's why she's right yeah right so and actually i have a a, a chicken gravy powder that thrive makes it's called Valu velute velute yeah and i may add that just to kind of thicken it a little bit um and to give it some other flavor <coughs> we'll see <coughs> but we will see yeah Kids in the hall. Yeah, Felicia. Crush your heads. But that's the only that's show funny. that's the only bit from them I remember. No, I remember one more, but it's it's totally not Probably PC. not appropriate. <laughs> no, it's not PC anymore. It, it, it was always edgy, mm -hmm. but like you would really get in trouble if you if you even tried to describe this one. Yeah, I'm sure. Alrighty. How come yeah, no, I'm Green chilies. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the the biscuit mix. Oh wait, sorry. You got, you're putting green chilies in green there. Green chilies. Okay. And guess what? They're not on there. No, I'm kidding. 
I was like, I'm what? Teasing. What? <laughs> Punk. I'm teasing. All right, so I'm putting them in a food chopper. And I'm going to uh, kind of just blend this a little bit so that um, they're not humongous pieces in our biscuits, but there's that flavor in there. Uh-oh. What? There's no small can. I'm, I'm going to see if I can add it right now. Let's see if I can add it. You, you keep going, baby. I'm going to keep going. You keep going. All right, so I'm adding four <laughs> tablespoons of each of the corn the uh, onion slices and the uh, green chilies. Look at there. You can add it as you go. And I used my hands to get the onions because you can't really grab those with the, the uh, tablespoon very easily. Nice. While you're doing that, um, Heather, that stuff is amazing. It's my creamy chicken. I use it in my creamy chicken mm -hmm. noodle soup. Yep. Yeah, the it's sauce. so good. Yeah. I love I love those sauces. They have a, a, a chicken gravy, velouté, and then they've got the espagnole. I don't espagnole. know if I'm saying it right. Uh, but that's a beef gravy. Oh, I love we those. We use it all the time. I like putting it into mm -hmm. um, vegetable beef soup. Shepherd's pie. Yeah, if you ever want something to taste... This is a bizarre thing to say, but if you want it to taste more beefy, mm -hmm. then I add a little bit to that. That'll work. Yeah. We haven't had shepherd's pie in a long time. That sounds like something. That yeah, it sounds pretty awesome. like something I know Hope would want us to make. She's right over there. <laughs> Watching. Waiting. In the shadows. She's waiting. <laughs> Hiding in the shadows. Yeah, that's funny. All righty. So we're going to go ahead and I got to read the recipe, guys. I wrote it down and I need to look at it. What you need, baby? Nothing. Mm, okay. I need a flour. Flour. I'm going to add the flour. I'm going to add the dry ingredients to the bowls for the bowl first. No, no, that's fine. Mm. This just, is, okay. Oh, my gosh. That smells good. Uh -huh. Did you smell it? No, because I can't really smell no, that smells really good. It smells really good. All right, so we need two cups of flour, right? Um, so I'm going to make sure I'm doing the recipe right. Yes. Okay. Yes, that is correct. So we're going to go ahead and add the dry ingredients first. Laura, I'm squishing you. I'm crushing. I crush your hands. How much garlic do we need? Garlic. It says, let me find it. Tablespoon or yep. teaspoon and a half. Yes, okay. Granulated. Teaspoon and a half. And then chef's choice. Chef's choice. Two teaspoons. Okay. Ugh. Now, what chef's choice is, it's a Thrive Life Season blend. It it's got is. peppers and... It has... Yep. Salt, onion, garlic, chili pepper, dextro, citric acid, <laughs> sugar. So there's a couple of items in here. There's peppers and it's it's really tasty. Super tasty. Net Detective Thrive Life is dehydrated. No, well, it's freeze dried. No, it's, it's freeze -dried. not dehydrated. It's freeze dried. Yeah. Are we out? Just about. I can do. No, I got it. Yeah. <gasps> Did Mother, you just? I think so. You got cut, mom. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Hold on. You take Edge that. Edge of the can. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't. There you okay. go. The little uh. Do not eat silica packet. Yep, look at that. Oh, she got a Nicky poo. <coughs> oh, hey, Hope, would you grab a band aid, please? <coughs> Excuse me. She's, she's heading out. I guess I'll, I'll talk to you guys. <coughs> Can you mute my microphone? Can I will mute your microphone? Yes. She's there. We go. So okay, then this this actually um, is a good time to, to tell tell you the difference between freeze dried and dehydrated. Well, when you dehydrate something. You're heating it up, and you're also blowing some air on it so that it will take out as much moisture as you can from the food. Well, that's great, and we do dehydrate a lot of things. However, the shelf life is not nearly as long as freeze-dried, and the nutrition value goes down because you're heating the food in order to get the, um, the liquid out. Freeze-drying, what's really cool is that it's actually... The Thrive Life stuff is actually fresher than you will get at a grocery store. 
because the way grocery stores work is, uh, let's use tomatoes. So the tomatoes are harvested and they're not ripe. They actually pull them when they're green, then they'll stick them in a, a warehouse, a cooled warehouse, until a big gigantic retailer will order them. And then they will gas them to make them look ripened. Well, the problem is those plants never actually got those nutrients and they just look ripened, even though they don't have all the nutrients in them that you would have if you had let it ripen on the vine. Well, with the tomatoes, Thrive Lifestyle, you, you, uh, they, they wait until they're ripe, then they get them to the freeze dryer and they're freeze dried then. So the temperature is not going up, it's actually going down while they're removing all the moisture in a vacuum. And so it is actually fresher, believe it or not, than what you, they call fresh at a grocery store. Does that, is that good? And what, yeah. Is that a fair? Yep. Yeah. Yep, that works. You okay? I'm fine. I just got a little cut. Just a little naked. It just poop. sliced my, the top of my finger. It's not very deep. It's it's fine. It will heal just no problem. I put moringa oil on it on my band aid and yep. no big deal. Sounds like a great <coughs> way to store food, says Net Detective. Yes. Um, if you don't, let me see. Sorry. I'll show you. This okay. This can of chicken right here does not need refrigeration. We stick it on the shelf in our pantry. And if you did not open it, this is good as fresh for 25 years. Yep. Same thing with these peppers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everybody's talking about food inflation prices. Well, guess what? What if you, you bought some stuff now and what do you think prices are going to be like five years from now? Uh, I don't know, but you I know, know this. I know what I'm paying for this now mm -hmm. and the food prices seem to keep going up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Cliff Clavin of Thrive Life. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. I haven't heard that name in ages. Was he on Cheers? Yeah. That guy. The mailman, the postal, man, the postal worker. Well, he was in a lot of the uh, Disney Dis the, Disney movies, mm -hmm. the cars. To cars and, and Toy Story. Toy Story, and... yeah. Okay. Winter, wait, it's a winter wonderland. Yeah, right. All right, we have, um, we're going to get back to our biscuits. Sorry. Sorry for the, um, the wound care. <laughs> um, so we have two cups of flour, two teaspoons of the chef's choice, which is a seasoning blend of sugars and, not sugar, but yeah, there's sugar and salt and peppers and herbs and things like that. Um, and then we have a teaspoon and a half of granulated garlic. I've got two teaspoons, two Two tablespoons of baking powder. Sorry, I have a Ricola in my mouth, so I'm not coughing on the microphone. And then, um, I'm, I'm off. Sorry. You okay, baby? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just, I, I got interrupted by cutting myself, and I got to get back in the swing of things, so. Well, and you know, those little cuts, the little ones, mm -hmm. they sting. Mm -hmm. It's not well, like, I mean... I got cut by a guitar string the other day. Oh, and it bled like it bled crazy. It like crazy, just yeah. poked me. No big right. deal. <clears throat> okay, so I got our baking powder in there. We're gonna add some melted butter. And that is? That's a, that's a stick of melted butter, half a cup of okay. melted butter. Gotcha, gotcha. And then I have some lime juice because the Biscuit mix, if you're putting baking powder in it, it needs an acid. So you can either add baking uh, buttermilk or um, a lime or lemon juice. So I'm going to add some lime juice. And I'm not going to pour it on my finger. That would not be fun. <clears throat> no. Can you open that for yes, me, please, dear? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> my hands don't work very well. We're gonna add two teaspoons of lime juice. Whoops. Or Careful. that's all. Or a little more. If, a little more. You know, you're too quick on pouring. And then our milk. So, like I said, you can add um, buttermilk if you'd like. Um, I just happen to have yeah. lots and lots of milk. So. What happens when we have a cow? Yeah, yeah we have two. 
those mm -hmm. cows. Yep. And we're still doing a calf share with our um, <coughs> one cow. So if we don't feel like milking her, the calf does it for us. Now, detectives, how long does Thrive Life last after open? Um, on average, about a year. most of the products last a year. Mm -hmm. There are a couple that they say you need to use within a week or two. Yeah. But it's not the majority. One is like the pulled pork. Ham. And is it turkey? Turkey. Mm -hmm. And I think those are it. But yeah. you'd have to check. But most of them, it's a year. Right. And actually, truthfully, we've used plenty of the stuff the longer than a year. It just gets kind of chewy. Yeah. Cool. TJ Miller, when I drive to Utah, I drive by one of the Thrive Life builds. And yeah. I'll tell you what, they've just they've just added on a ton of mm -hmm. new freeze dryers. Yep. A bunch of employees, because you know, I think the pandemic, when the pandemic hit, people realized the need to have some storable food on hand mm -hmm. at home. Yep. And they got overwhelmed. Um, actually a lot of companies did, and it kind of you put Augustine Farms pretty much out of business. Mm -hmm. and uh, But they, since Thrive Life owns their own freeze dryers, they were able to manage it, even though things were slowed down. Yeah. Now they're ramped way back up. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, I'm just putting some butter on this pan here. Looks good, baby. Yes. And this is just a drop biscuit. Don't drop it, huh? Drop it like it's hot. You're supposed to drop it like it's hot. <laughs> that baking powder worked quickly. Look at that. Oh, pff, I am such a ding dong. What's going on, baby? What did I forget? Oh, yeah, you got to put all that stuff in there. <laughs> all the flavoring. <laughs> like I said, it's one of the days, right? Yeah, it is. Holy smokes. Oh, well. Yeah, no biggie. We'll go back to the main screen here. And this is why live TV works. <laughs> because or doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> or doesn't work, yeah. Because we make mistakes just like everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, TJ Miller, uh, we've actually had a conversation about the Harvest Right product. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a good product. Uh, they reached out to us. To see Several if we times. wanted to, um, to to do some promotional stuff for them. And I don't really have a problem with the product. I think it's great. All. However, for us, it's cheaper to be consultants mm -hmm. and uh, to purchase the, the food already made. We don't have to mess with it. We don't have to cook it. You don't have to change all the oil and the compressors and right. yada, yada, yada. But um, it's great for some people, just not for us. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, we mixed in all of our veggies, the onions, the green chilies, and the corn that we chopped up. And we're going to go ahead and add these to the tray. Steven wants to know from Jess mm -hmm. uh, if you're taking orders for cheddar biscuits. Come on over. Come on over. You guys know where we live. Yes. They're at our house. Hey, actually, don't forget about tomorrow night. So. Are you good to go for that? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just forgot to send a message to everybody. Okay. So. Yeah, we do a lot of old Bible get together. Mm -hmm. Laura says, hey, this is how my cooking show usually goes. <laughs> you can see it's not yeah. just me. No, it's not. It's this is, I'm cooking in, in our house is usually there's some argument or something about what we should do and. So we, right. we have very different ways of, of preparing, it. preparing food. So I would do it one way and he would do it completely a different mm -hmm. way. But then she'll come up to me and say, well, I would do, well, it, this I would way. do it this way. Yeah. Well, you're not <laughs> cooking now, are you, Felicia? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. That's Funny. why it's hard for me not to come over here and go, hey, this isn't boiling yet. Because I didn't want it to boil over while I was Jeez. doing something else. Golly. Jeez. Hey, Mama mm. Bear. Oh, okay. Food. I need I needed another tray of uh, butter. Just a tray of butter. 
know, I had too much biscuit mix. The Yellow House Homestead. I was able to get a whole food supply from Thrive Life for a fraction of the cost of the Harvest Right freeze dryer. Mm -hmm. They really are cool, though. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I mean, we got nothing bad to say about the Harvest Right stuff. It's just it was. It's cheaper for us, right? Even if we even if we didn't sell it to make money as a business, which we do. And mm -hmm. for those of you who, who get the food, we're very <clears throat> very grateful. Yes. Um, but for us, it made more sense to just buy it. Right, and and believe me, I there's I would want one, um, but I just I can't justify them giving us one just because I want one and then not be able to do a good enough well, and video be, for them. It would be a conflict of it interest. It would be a huge conflict of interest. Yeah. But, again, nothing mm -hmm. negative to say about no, it. No, 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 not at all. Yeah. I mean, because we do a lot of, you know, of our own produce here at home. So. Yeah. But, and also, too, there's, people forget the work factor involved. Yeah. I mean, a lot. It takes a lot to make just a small amount of yeah, uh, freeze dried stuff. Yeah, freeze dried stuff. Yeah, it makes it takes a huge amount. And a lot of people forget to factor in the cost of the actual food. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, mean and, yeah, if you grow it yourself, the electricity, they'll figure the electricity, the maintenance, mm -hmm. the oil, because you got to change the oil in those. Unless you get the oilless ones, which are That's a lot, a lot more, money. more money. Yeah. But um, this way. If I want chicken, I just go grab chicken. A can of chicken, yeah. And I can't tell you how many times. This is one of our favorite things. Is, hey, Caleb, come here. He's right here. This is what you do. Say, Caleb. <laughs> could you go get us some of those um, freeze-dried cake bites? Yeah. That's how you do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you say, hey, could you please go get me some peppers? Mm -hmm. And we have them. Yeah. That's what's crazy is we have so many ingredients just sitting on the shelf that if you're like, hey, I need some mushrooms. Well, you got mushrooms. What? Forgot to put the cheese in there. <laughs> Boy, today Forget is it. I'm not putting the cheese in there. So, sorry. It's actually cake. I had. That's funny. Shredded the cheese. Are you tied to a contract when you sell Thrive Life? Nope. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, it's Excuse me. the way that it works is if you sign up to be a consultant, then you are trying to sell food. You're letting your friends know. You're letting people know, and then if they buy stuff, you get a commission. It's that simple. Because we don't store it, we don't ship it, we don't even take the orders. The orders all go through a website. So it's you know you just tell people about it, and if they buy something. Great. Great. Um, that's funny. Forgot the cheddar and the cheddar biscuits. <laughs> I love you, baby. Uh, yeah, I know. I love you, baby. I know you do. Yeah, but uh, the other thing was, oh, sorry. Um, if you decided you didn't want to, to do it, then you just don't buy anything anymore. Mm -hmm. And after six months, they, um, they take you off the roll. So you don't, you don't have to do anything. It, it, and if you skip a month, no big deal. You just, they're not going to kick you out or anything like that. It's just you just don't get commissions in that month. So I hope that that uh, helps there. Uh, I'm about to film. Oh, there's there's Kimmy. Hey, I'm Kimmy. About to film, uh, but I wanted to pop in and say hello. Oh man, cheddar biscuits. Yeah. Um, these ah, are the... ah, yeah, right. Cheddar biscuits. <laughs> oh, it's one of. Let's try biggest. this one again. Jean Marie says, how about cheese on top of the biscuits? We could try that. Yeah, well, I, I, I took these, the second tray, and I put the cheddar. I, actually, it's Munster in the, in the biscuits because that's what we had. So. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, these, my heavens. These are freeze-dried pieces of cake, guys. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? We have Oreo cookie ice cream. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, look at this. It's like little fruity confetti, and they're good. So good, so good, so good. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Would you like one? Well, thank you. I have a Ricola in my mouth. Mm -hmm. All righty then. Let's see how many times I can cook these biscuits or mix these biscuits. Kimmy. Oh my gosh! If you would, if you became a consultant, she is a consultant. She did? Yes. Oh my she gosh! Is. <laughs> see there. This is how checked in I am. Mm -hmm. But man, oh man! You guys sign up under her. <laughs> No kidding. 
All right, let's try this one again. All right, excuse me, dear. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, the whole day went out, just went right out the window. Today is all out of whack. Well, cut. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it did. Yeah. All right. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Let's check this soup. You should call them Munster biscuits. Yeah. Getting there. Look yeah. at that. By the time the biscuits are done, that'll be mm -hmm. rock and roll. Yeah. Thank you. I'd like to become a consultant. Do you have a link to sign up? Yes, in the video description. In the description box. Yeah, yeah. and it's actually right here. Huh. Oh, snap. Cheat, cheat. Yes, it's easy. It's uh, www.thrivelife.com slash bigfamilyhomestead. And I'll tell you what, guys. <laughs> well, the writing's on the wall. Not we yet. see what's going on with society and inflation and food prices and what's getting ready to happen with corn. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be pretty bad. Mm -hmm. So even if, you, even if you can't do this or whatever, mm -hmm. stock up on some stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you should. Just some basic stuff. You know. Mm. You know. And cola and black bean. Delicious. Tina Elliott, she's in her apron. I watch you as well. Mm -hmm. She is, she's, she's, she's so, so organized. She's so cute. She's organized. <laughs> What's up? Love you all. Okay, well now it's question time since we got to wait for 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, the beans are not done just yet. I did turn up the heat just a little bit, so I have to be careful that it doesn't boil over. That'll be fun for TV. What else could go wrong? I'm Let's get see. I cut myself. I, <laughs> I forgot to put the veggies in the biscuits. Then I forgot to put the cheese in the biscuits. Ridiculous. What kind of cheese is that? Did you put in? It's there? Munster cheese. Munster. And now, if you guys are anywhere near Central Wisconsin, and you have not gone to Cloverdale, this is oh. not. I'm not ever. I'm not paid by them to do this. This store is fantastic. It's a Mennonite. Bulk, bulk food, food store, um, and they have some amazing fresh cheeses there that are ridiculously reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, a big gigantic blocks. Yeah. Well, here's one of them. I took off about an inch and a half off of this. So this block of cheese is six and a half pounds, and it was twelve ninety nine. Pretty good deal. You cannot buy cheese like this at any store for this inexpensive. It is Munster cheese and it does not have the orange rind on it, which is fine. The one with the orange rind, I think, was double the price. Yeah. Because it, it takes extra effort. But this cheese is so creamy. Yep. It is ridiculous. I love it. Hey, James, watching for the first time live. Hope oh, you have very a great cool. day. All right. So, oh, here's another thing about the Thrive stuff. If you're just kind of like toe in the water, I want to mm -hmm. see what it's like. You can actually sign up for a delivery, mm -hmm. which does not mean you have to buy anything right away. You, no. can, you just sign up, but it has benefits that if you do purchase things at a certain, I think it's a hundred bucks, mm -hmm. then, free shipping. then it's free shipping. Mm -hmm. And to sign up as a delivery customer, you don't have to, it's free. It's mm -hmm. completely free. It doesn't cost you a dime. It's completely free. You can cancel anytime. You can skip shipments if you like. You can pick what you want in your delivery cart to have mm -hmm. shipped to you every month uh, or every week if you prefer or every other week. It depends on when you want it. You can change the date of when you want it shipped. Yeah. Uh, it will process, the order will process and charge your card the day before it ships. So like they have to, they charge it, they process it and then they ship it, you know, in the next day or two. Um, well, and also that's nice too because you can change whatever you want month to month. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah that you can change what you can make one delivery order of all corn or different veggies in one month and then completely change it mm -hmm. out and get fruit the next time. I uh, also didn't look at the time. No, I didn't either. That. I've been I've been checking it. <laughs> it smells great. <laughs> Those are done. Those are done? Yeah, Cheese but they're list. not right. They're not right because oh, there's no, no cheese no in them. Cheese. There's no cheese in them. Or to quote Mike DeFazio, it's nacho cheese. It's Christmas it's, cheese. It's nacho cheese. Nacho it's my cheese. cheese. It's it's so yummy. I need a spatula. Did it stick? Yeah. No, they're actually good, oh. but you're going to need to get them loose soon. They're actually pretty good. 
Oh, yeah. They look Ooh, great. Mm -hmm. They're a little flatter than the ones. Right. So that probably has something to do with the cheeselessness. The cheeselessness. Yeah, so we're, we're going to just, we're going to feed these to the dog? No, I'm kidding. No. I'm just kidding. Those are the ones for Steven. Come on over. <laughs> you can have these cheese, these non-cheese biscuits. For no. those who are, uh, who can't have. Uh, lactose intolerant. But there's milk in it. But there's milk in it. So partially. <laughs> yeah. Partially lactose intolerant. That's funny. There you go. Now we're talking. Yeah. See it bubbleizing. I'm just afraid it's going to boil over. The pot's too small. Oh my gracious, that smells so good, I'm, guys. I'm actually going to add this stuff. Some of that? Yeah. Creamy it up? Mm-hmm. I think that's a good thing. Yeah. Good, good idea. Here, you want to... Here, we can biscuit. try one out. You want to try it's, one? It's lackluster biscuit. Do you want to try one? I will in just a second. <laughs> Trade you that fork for nothing. <laughs> Thank you. You goofball. And you know, it's not the first time I've cut myself on the rim of these. I've done it a couple of times. Oh, thank you. Careful. I don't know. We good? Oh, my gosh. Those are good. Even without the cheese? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to... to mm -hmm. uh... Nice and crispy on the outside. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Loads of flavor. Really Loads of flavor. And mm -hmm. you can actually put mm -hmm. melted butter on top of them. And garlic. Mm-hmm. Yes, that would rock. What am I looking mm. for? There wow. it is. Mandy... B-E-D-D-O-E-S, I don't want to say your name wrong. I followed you. Uh, forever your voices are my help in my days and illness. Aww. That's very that's very kind Thank of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, these are girly good, Mom. They're girly good? I'm surprised because cheddar is kind of the foundation. Mm -hmm. But you can taste the corn mm -hmm. in there, the little chilies. Mm -hmm. Yum. All right, I'm adding a half a cup. Mm. Of the this butter. Yep. velouté, it's the chicken gravy. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. Yep. Give it some. I mean, you don't have to do that, but oh, just man. add something to it. A little something, something. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a big whole tomato. Caleb gets that one. Yeah. <laughs> just mash it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's surprising. Mm -hmm. It's a different kind of biscuit. Yeah, it is. It's really good. Well, and you know, here's the thing, too, is we're spoiled because she makes like bread, bread so well. Mm -hmm. And we usually get one of two things. The sweet rolls, that's for like special meals. Like Jack and squat? No. <laughs> and then her southern style biscuits. Mm -hmm. So this will be great to add to the arsenal just for mm -hmm. some different kind of flavor. Well, and we make those cheddar bis the lobster cheddar biscuits mm -hmm. as well. Yep. Um, from scratch. These are a lot like that, but mm -hmm. more flavor. Mm -hmm. It'll be better when there's cheese in them. <laughs> I bet. I wonder. Mm-hmm. Wow, 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 wow. Wonder why. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm. They look a little more poofy. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Look at pockets of cheese. Uh -huh. <laughs> Getting yep. off a clump here. <laughs> wow. There. Mm -hmm. That'll work. It's don't hot. Don't touch it long. No, don't touch it long. Heidi says, now you're making me hungry. That's our job. That's, That's what we're supposed yeah. to do. This is this is one of those fast, easy dinner, lunches, whatever. Oh, the cheese is what's sticking. Yeah, well, and I kind of also swiped the the uh, butter off, and I didn't re-butter it. Oh, no. Yeah, because I was kind of in a hurry. My there hubby likes Mexican cornbread. Did you just invent the biscuit version? Yep. Kind of. I bet you it is like yep, that. Yeah, it is, um, because there's corn, onions, green chilies, Jeez, yeah. cheddar, well, <laughs> Munster. I added when, Munster. When, when so you got it. When you got it, whatever you got. And they're actually a little bit taller than the other biscuits. They are. <clears throat> Excuse me, All guys. Right. There you go. A nice crispy edge. <coughs> uh, and the cheese that's on the bottom there. Look at that. Nice that's and gonna, crispy. That's going to rock. Uh -huh. You know it. Mm -hmm. You know oh, it. Oh, yeah. Girl, you know it's true. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, look at no that. No idea where I was going. That's what that does right there. Mm -hmm. um, that adds a lot. Yeah, it does. 
Where are we at with the soup, Mom? It's pretty much done. Are the beans ready to rock? I don't know. I'll check. Mm -mm -mm. And it thickened that, that velouté sauce, thickened the soup just a bit, but not enough to make it like a gravy. It's, it's nice. Oh, my gosh. That is so good. Mandy, unfortunately, no. Thrive Life does not go to the UK Yeah, yet. I'm so sorry. Yeah. They do have plans. So keep watching. Yeah, it, the, the beans are not ready yet. They're not? No, but. Well, that means we got to eat another biscuit while we wait. Mm-hmm. I'm going to taste it. No, that's okay. You can have it. No. Oh, that's so good. Here, is it? Taste that. It's uh -huh. really hot. Here we go. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Loads of flavor. Yeah. Super easy. Mm. And, you know, you can take this recipe and minus the liquid stuff, the tomatoes and water, um, water you can add this to a mason jar and seal it and put it on the shelf. Um, you could actually... Thrive Life actually even does have diced tomatoes that you could add to it. You just have to add more water. Actually, you know what? That's really good. And, oh, right over there, secret weapon. Oh, yeah. This you would add this there. after. That right there, secret weapon. Because mm -hmm. there's there's just a teensiest bit of heat, but it's not it's not spicy. I didn't add any Cholula. I know, but it's in your Sassanita. Yeah. Um, yeah. But not, it, it's, it's a good flavor. It's mm -hmm. not like... Um, Oh my gosh, this is burning my throat. Yeah, no, it's not like it's, jalapenos it's, are, are, are hotter. Right, right. You've got the green chili flavor, which green chilies are not spicy. They're a mild pepper. Um, and then you've got the red bell peppers. You've got lots and lots of flavor in there. Joining late, can you put the recipe up so I can get a screenshot? Absolutely, Erica. Mm -hmm. uh, you want the biscuits or? Do both. We'll do, do both. Do Here's the, the soup. soup recipe. All right. Ready, set. Screenshot, screenshot it. Screenshot it. Five, four. Three, two, Three, two, one. One and the biscuit, biscuit. recipe. <laughs> there Hooray. it is. Don't forget to add the cheese. Yeah. What else? And the veggies yep. when you make those. Yep. That's See, when I, when I cook, I am usually cooking over there. So I've got everything right in front of me. Here, I don't have that, big, that much space. So I have to, you know, divide and conquer and yep. then I fail. Well, so, that's it, guys. This yeah. If we didn't talk, it would take maybe five minutes, minutes for prep time and, and then minutes, yeah. maybe 15, 15 minutes to 15, 20 minutes it. to cook it and yeah. Yeah. So, and again, you don't have to use Thrive Life ingredients. This is what we have. This is what we like to use. You can use store-bought mm -hmm. items and it's super tasty. Yeah, but that's crazy. It's like right now, if you're like, you know, I think I want mushrooms in there. You can oh. just go grab them and throw them in. We should. We should put mushrooms in it. Hope looks like. <laughs> She's over there. She doesn't like mushrooms. She no. recoils from mushrooms mm -hmm. like a like a mongoose from a viper. Right, right. But when she's when when the recipe has mushrooms in it, she doesn't know they're there. She generally doesn't know. No, you don't. <laughs> it's actually happened a lot more than you think. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so that's anyway, nice. that's it, guys. That's it. So I hope um, you enjoyed. The uh, chaos that happened today, the, the cacophony, is that a good word? Cacophony, cacophony. Is, that's more like more a bunch of music. crazy noises. Oh, yeah, no. So just chaos, accidents. I wounded myself. No big deal. Um, oh, the recipes, uh, cookbooks are still on sale. Yep, cookbooks are still on sale. Uh, check them out. And, and if you're interested in mm -hmm. signing up for uh, to be a consultant or you just want more information, email me. There's mm -hmm. a link down below there. Yep. Or you can just go sign up and don't forget to become a delivery customer is free. It is free. Free to can free to sign up, free to cancel. It's it's easy, easy, easy. Now it's lunchtime. Yep. So see you guys. Bye. Have an awesome and blessed day. Bye. Bye.